Hi friends. So today was um, a really interesting day in our unschooling life and I posted about it but I really just uh, thought that I should make a video so that eventually I can uh, remember what I learned today and hopefully pass on some of that learning to others. I am um, We've been unschooling for about a month and most days start off pretty much the same. We have breakfast. The kids really like to help. They're very involved in, in life skills. You know, they spread their Nutella or they cut their sausage or whatever it is. They help with breakfast. And, um, and then we gather in our playroom has sort of become our homeschool room also. So we gather in there and we sit down and I read. And we usually sit on the floor, my little two play because they don't read yet. And um, my oldest sits next to me and she reads over my shoulder. And we read, um, I'm totally blanking on the first book that we read together because that's just how my day is. Um, but we finished a whole book this way already. And, uh, and we've had lots of breaks in between. We were like, we've been reading like, you know, science books, bee books, especially and insect books. We're very into bugs and um, things like that. Right now we're reading Little Women. And, um, oh, in August we were studying um, the Olympics, the history of the Olympics. My oldest, who would be a second grader this year, is um, very into history. So she picked a history topic for every month. And in August we studied the history of the Olympics. So we actually read a lot of different books, but we mainly focused on um, actually a magazine. It's called Honest History. And it's amazing. If you don't get it, you totally should. It is really wonderful for kids who are into history. It's beautiful. I mean, the the pictures are just incredible. And um, it's really informative. And it, and it wasn't just the history of the Olympics. It was the history of women in the Olympics, the history of racial bias in the Olympics, the history of war and how that impacted the Olympics. It even, you know, had something about, about the pandemic and the Olympics being postponed for a year and um and we did a lot of that we also read a lot of nonfiction and fiction books you know about the history of the olympics and about the olympics and about people in the olympics and um and then we've read we read something else anyway in between we sort of read something else and um and now we are reading little women and it has sort of been the in-between for because um, we were very, very obsessed with Hamilton for the first week of our U.S. history. And now um, this is leading us, you know, into discussions about civil war and about slavery and racism and all sorts of really awesome topics. Um, what states were states when the Civil War happened and what territories weren't states yet. We've, you know, we've talked a lot about things like that. And um, so this morning, I thought <coughs> it would be a regular morning and we would do our reading and it would be great. And uh, I sat down, you know, to do our reading. And um, I just recently, just this past uh, probably four days, I've been taking out um, toys that aren't in our current rotation and um, putting them. I set out two rugs, two little circle rugs. My oldest and I set in one. And then my youngest two have another circle rug. And I've been putting out a toy that's not normally out on the shelves. Um during the day on the rug for them to play with and whisper play with while I read. And uh, this morning it was the big cardboard blocks, those big Melissa and Doug ones. They're huge. They have so much fun with them. And they went totally crazy. Um, I mean, they were really excited, you know, and it was awesome. Okay, you have all this energy. And here I am trying to read Little Women and it's the part where Meg gets married, you know. And so we're talking about, you know, the marriage and what's happening and they're setting up the house for her and so there are all these questions about you know setting up a house and at the time of the civil war and and what it meant and why they didn't live together already and lots of really interesting questions but then they got sort of distracted by the blocks and um and they just sort of you know they built a tower and they knocked it down and they built a tower and then they were screaming and you know and so um that was my mistake, you know, and I told them, okay, you know, these were not a good choice for whisper play. And, uh, and we kind of laughed about it and <clears throat> they decided to play with Play-Doh instead. And, uh, that was cool. You know, um, by then I was like, whoo, okay. We kept taking breaks, you know, and, uh, and then 
they all went to play with Plato, all three of them, you know, so I'm sitting, I'm reading and, uh, you know, they're fighting about Plato colors, whatever. So I take another break and I'm really at this point, like deep breathing, like, okay, we're going to get through this one chapter. You know, normally we get through a chapter, no problem. Sometimes we do two. Occasionally we do three. Today it was like every page there was an issue. And, uh, so they're doing Plato. The colors are okay sharing everything's all right I sit back down um and uh I don't know what happened next I guess I can't remember if my littlest came to sit in my lap at that point or something happened maybe they took out the magnets too I can't remember and something happened there was another interruption I decided to go make myself a cup of coffee and then I would come back and I would read some more and um so that happened so I made my coffee I came back and sat down and I was reading and then um the dog somehow got trapped in the room with us, pooped on the floor, and my oldest stepped in it. And of course, because <laughs> that was just our day. So uh, that was really exciting. We had to clean her, you know, clean her foot, and then I'd take her to the bath to, like, wash it with soap and water, and um, it was great. It was just really exciting. And, uh, you know, my little two of them were, like, trapped in the room because the dog had actually pooped in the doorway. So they they were, you know, scared to like go around it because they didn't want to step in it. And uh, so I came back, I cleaned it up. And then my um, my middle, my <clears throat> five-year-old, she turned to me and she said, Mom, I want to make mud soup. I said, okay, like, let's go. Let's go make mud soup. And uh, my oldest was inside. She stayed inside for a little while, played with her American Girl dolls. And, uh, and then my mom wanted to go garage sailing and uh, she said oh can I take Sage and I said of course so they went and uh, and they did great and they found some awesome games and books and stuff for us and it was really wonderful they had a great time she wore a mask the whole time and and uh, it was really good and so I took the little two out and we made mud soup and we fished with nets and we swung on the hammock and we had a really great time outside and uh, it was exactly what we needed it was totally just what they needed this morning. We eventually, we had, I had charged their iPads this morning. We are very, very minimal screen time. Um, the most they get is 30 minutes a day or 90 minutes twice a week uh, if they want to like watch a movie or something. But they normally can only sit through 30 minutes at a time anyway. Um, like we've been watching Hamilton in, in uh, 30 minute segments. Um, we're like halfway done with act two, I think at this point. And yeah, it's it takes a while, but it's but it's it's manageable chunks for them of a movie or a play or whatever it is. And uh, you know, they get antsy. I I don't know. I my kids just don't they don't sit with screens like that. And so today I'd actually charged the iPads. They hadn't used them in about a week and a little over a week, I guess. And um so they wanted to use them to uh to scan plants in the yard, you know, with the Seek app by iNaturalist and um it was great. It was great. My littlest used my phone and my middle used her iPad and um, we discovered some really awesome plants. We went up to the road in front of the neighbor's house and it was really, it was good. It was, you know, just what we needed to be doing. And um, I really just need to remember that they know what they want to learn in any given day. They know what they need to be learning and I need to trust them. And uh, tonight after I dropped them at their dad's, I listened to a podcast, Honey, I'm Homeschooling the Kids. And it was an interview with the woman who does um, kidstomarket.com. And now she's teaching on Galileo. And she's an unschooling mom. And she was talking about that specific thing, about the trust and how you just need to trust that your kids know what they need to be doing. And they and they know what they need to be learning. And uh, what a perfect day for me to hear that. So I figured I would make this and uh, and share with you guys because it's, uh, it's a struggle some days to realize, okay, we're not going to read that today. And we're not going to look at maps today. And we're not going to do those like typical seat learning type of things this morning at all. Maybe not, you know, and today we didn't do them all day. We did the you know the outdoor learning in the morning and and they did learn you know of course they're learning they're learning they're always learning you know and then we had lunch and we packed up and we went to the beach 
know, our local lake and, and we met friends and we played and then they went to their dads. And, you know, we had a lot of really great conversations about what we learned this morning. You know, they fished at the lake. They actually caught a little catfish with their nets. And, um, you know, it was a really wonderful day, mostly spent outside. And um, I really needed to remember that they know what they're supposed to be learning in any given day. They know what is the meaningful work for them to engage in that day. And I need to trust that. And I need to trust them every day. So I hope this resonates with some of you. I really needed it today. <laughs>